Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for today. And with the recent release of the future Lex Luthor ally, I'm in a comfortable position to say that we now have the best uh, combo of allies for tanking that we're ever going to get. Uh, so this is going to be the ultimate combo for allies for tanking. And uh, we, the two passes are pretty much 100% set in stone. The DPS support uh, one, we have basically two options. Uh, so let's kind of touch on that now, and then uh, later in the video I'll be showing examples just to kind of show you again how they work and how they benefit you as a tank. So basically the ultimate tank combo is going to be Nubia, Superman, and Future Lex Luthor. Uh, there's, and there's basically two exceptions uh, that you could consider. So Superman uh, is gonna, always going to be set in stone. Uh, upon using, we're using the Inspiring Breakout. Upon using Group Breakout, Ability and Tank Roll gives you and all allies a damage reduction shield. So that's a 20% reduction in damage to 8 players. So that's a, a great beneficial ability to be able to have uh, to provide not only yourself, uh, but also the entire group with that shield. Future Lex Uthor, we're using Exabyte Overdrive. When below 50% health, temporary boost, dominance, restoration, vitalization, and defense. So basically anytime you drop below 50%, uh, which is most commonly on like a manacles proc. So think of it like every time you proc manacles uh, as ice, as, uh, ice and earth, some uh, like fire, rage, and atomic are fluctuate a little bit because they've got the self healing mechanics. So they're going to proc that more, uh, a lot more easily than say uh, um, ice and earth will. But essentially, think of it like every time you proc your manacles as ice and earth, where you're vulnerable and don't have a manacles proc for you know the cooldown duration. Now you have X wide overdrive, giving you the 50% boost in your especially the defense when you're looking at earth and ice. Uh, Nubia, uh, Nubia. In terms of her damage, it may not be the best for AOE damage, but I mean it's only like maybe 100, 150k difference. So I mean there's not usually a giant gap in the damage to an allies. But what Nubia offers is that it CCs the adds by knocking them away twice, and then you also get uh, some heals as well. So essentially, there's two exceptions. One, you can run Death Metal Batman instead of Nubia for for uh, DPS. So Death Metal Batman in the DPS stance will apply the extra debuff. So essentially think of it as Nubia helps yourself as a tank because you're going to get heals, you're going to get the CC on adds. And Death Metal Batman, if you run him, he's going to help the group by giving that extra uh, debuffs. So those are your two choices. So don't feel bad if you don't have Nubia. Don't feel bad if you don't have Death Metal Batman. Either one of them are going to be interchangeable. And then the second option, which is basically only for fire tanks, instead of Superman... I would run Batman with laughs with the luck with a draw. So receive a, a beneficial card proc. Now that's only for fire tanks. The reason why I say that is that burnout is a little bit awkward to use in the fire rotation. So you'd have to basically drop a more beneficial ability to run burnout for the breakout. And then as well, uh, Batman, uh, all tanks. The reason why I don't have Batman with laughs as the, you know, ultimate combo or go-to combo for tanks is that really there's only two card procs that tanks benefit from. You have the increased health and you have the increased stats. But there's the exception for fire tanks. Fire tanks can also take advantage of the critical healing. So basically three out of the four car possible car procs you get to take advantage of is fire. So that's why I would say you still, x wide overdrive is going to be hugely um, beneficial for fire. That's the only reason why I would drop super. I mean, it's all situational too. Not every single situation you're going to need an 8-man reduction shield. But... Uh, uh, if you're a fire tank and you don't have Superman leveled, then don't worry about it. I would still run Batman and Laughs as fire because you're taking advantage of those three car procs to take advantage of it as fire. Because, I mean, in the end, these are still all legendary allies. I mean, yes, you'd still run like, uh, you could run like a House of Legends bot for DPS if you wanted to for single target and save some uh, ally XP if you wanted. But uh, this is essentially the go-to combo. This is the combo that I would always run. For tanking, doesn't matter if you're ice, earth, rage, atomic, or fire. The only difference would be I would think about the situation of swapping out Superman. Because personally, uh, I mean, Superman's beneficial for ice because you can run Shattered Restraints. Shattered Restraints is not only a shield, but then also you get that uh, damage reduction shield. So it's very beneficial. Plus, you can earn Shattered Restraints a little bit faster with the ice mechanic. Uh, with ire for rage. Ire is very beneficial because then now you get to save yourself uh, from crowd immunity. So when you can uh, rage, uh, not have to worry about rage crashing. 
uh, ice um, for earth soothing sands is a bit awkward as well especially if you're running a brick build it's almost impossible to run it because you have two powers for a fortified golem and summon brick so i mean that's already two loadout slots then you've got uh, gemstone shield that's three so it's half your loadout's already gone already so if you're dropping hard that shield you're still going to have to take like a uh, uh, epicenter or poles that's four so really running the group breakout is, is very difficult for uh, earth for atomic works at nice because that uh, the group breaker is also a shortcut ability you do have to drop the the self healing or if you run two break uh, two shortcuts you can always do that as well and then same thing with fire fire myself personally just burned out doesn't really have a spot in the rotation and that's like the raid really require like group immunity so let's touch on some examples and show you what these are actually look like in use Now, specifically, is Ice Nubia may not be the best example to show uh, just because we have uh, access to Resident and Gale, which is the strongest CC move in the game. But uh, we'll just show you what Nubia can do here. So we'll gather up some ads. And then what I'll do as well is I'll take off uh, Mystic so then you can properly see the heals. So essentially we're just surrounded by a dog pile of ads and we'll summon Nubia. At the same time also proc decks by overdrive, but you can see the ads are CC'd. I got the two heals. And then I can go back into my rotation. So yeah, the heals aren't nothing to write home about, but I mean still that's that was 150k heal. As well as you got all the ads knocked down, so it gives you more chances to uh, get heals from the healer. And it kind of gives you that breathability, especially if you're saving another power like uh, like fire or something or rage. Uh, with with your basically your only CC moves are, are um, backdraft and without mercy. So if that's on com if that's on cooldown or, or you're not running or ran out of uh, chrono committers or not necessarily always have to spam this as a tank, but it basically Nubia gives you that flexibility with also getting some AOE damage, getting CC moves to give yourself some breathability in terms of uh, getting free cooldowns without taking damage. And then you get uh, some small heals as well. So that's the uh, that's the effect of having Nubia. I mean, all uh, Death Metal Batman would do is just apply the debuffs to the ads. It's not going to help you as a tank. It's just going to help the group with having a little bit extra damage for those uh, for that time when the debuffs are applied. So with the Superman Shield, it gives you an opportunity to uh, either play for yourself in terms of having that extra damage reduction on yourself, but also in terms of protecting the group from potential one shots. So, for example, at the beginning of KCT, I pop it so that in case there's any ads that I don't pull in terms of gathering up in the room, it may buy that extra time uh, for me to pull it and not actually one-shot the not one shot the, either the healer or the DPS. Same kind of concept with the one who laps fight and the source wall lead. I can pop the breakout shield when those ads spawn on the outsides uh, near, the, uh, near the shield or near the barrier. And I basically can buy me an extra couple seconds to get those pulls instead of one-shotting that player. Uh, same thing with Doomsday with a Spike Quake. Spike Quake, uh, it may make the difference between a one shot and not uh, if the healer has a page proc or that has a healer shield active. So it's all those situations where it's universally uh, available to provide protection for that group because, you know, this is one of the first times we have an eight, actually eight player shield uh, from a tank perspective besides Atomic. Atomic, so many people ran Atomic just for mass density. And while well, obviously mass density is much stronger than this uh, Superman shield, it's still still the same concept where you can provide uh, group protection simply with a uh, with a breakout shield. Okay, and so with Expedite Overdrive, if you weren't aware, all you have to do is open up 25 of the new LexCorp exclusive time capsules and get it for free. Same concept as Nubia. And then if you hadn't seen my previous video in terms of how it works, you get a 15% stat boost, 15 second duration with a 30 second cooldown. And then uh, just to show my stats now, in Ice Armor, 237k defense, we've got 51k resto, I mean, not that bit matters, but 26k bit and 82k dom. And we'll get uh, Merciless of Rocket here. Now it doesn't even matter, it's like Ice and Earth, uh, you have that extra defense, but say if I'm, I'm sitting like a pilot, like a dot like this, I've got a dot going through shields, Expo Overdrive is going to proc, as it already did. Just to make sure we don't die. And now my stats now, 261k defense, I just dropped there for a sec. Uh, Resto is 57k, Dominance is 891k, but it goes up to 30k. So even a situation where uh, most commonly is ice, 
say if you like last boss of clock tower or any kind of situation where you've got a dot that goes through your shields now you've got that passive protection from x wide overdrive i mean as fire rage or atomic it's going to proc consistently just because of how your health fluctuates uh, ice and rage or sorry ice and earth can kind of uh either compensate it for a manacles proc because they're higher defense already so it's just any kind of situation x wide overdrive is going to give you that uh, passive protection that safety blanket uh, and there's no reason to go without it that's for sure